Hi Birdie, it's Justine Marjan here and I'm gonna show you how to get a super cute half up ponytail. This is a look that I've done on Olivia Culpo, Chantel Jeffries, and Khloe Kardashian. So I hope you'll love it. So the first step for this look is to spray Tresemme Micro Mist Hairspray and extend. And I just like to work this throughout the hair before I do anything. It just gives the hair a little bit of hold before I go in with my iron. I'm just gonna brush it through. Then I'm just gonna go in and create a center part so that I can have a few face framing pieces hanging out in the front. And then I'm just gonna take horizontal sections here, clip the rest of the hair away, and I'm gonna work from the bottom to the top. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit more of the hairspray so I get a lot of hold here. And I'm going in with my one inch GHD Classic Curl Iron. I'm gonna point the iron down and then wrap the hair away from my face. And then with each piece, I'm gonna alternate the direction that I'm wrapping the hair around the iron. So now I'm gonna wrap it towards my face. And then the next piece I'll wrap away from my face. And then I'm just gonna continue in this pattern, alternating directions with the iron all the way around my head. So when I curl the hair, I think it's really important to tap the hair with your finger as it's on the iron, and that's when you know to release the hair, once you feel that the hair is hot all the way through. There's no set rule for how long to hold it on the iron, it just depends on your hair type and texture. So you really just wanna feel when it feels hot. When I get to the front, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of a different technique because these will be the pieces that I'll leave out of my ponytail. So I want a little bit more of a relaxed curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and clamp the iron at the root, drag it down, wind it up, and then release. So drag, wind, and release. And this just gives, you can see, it's a much more relaxed kind of wave pattern. So for this look, I love to do it with a one inch iron just because it gets a little bit less volume and I can see a little bit more of a wave pattern. A larger iron is gonna make a bigger curl so that'll be a lot more volume in the hair. When I get to the back, just because it's hard to reach, I'm gonna do that same twist and release technique that I did around my hairline for the pieces that are hard to reach in the back. Okay, so now my hair is completely waved and I like this texture because it has a lot of movement. It's kind of messy and random. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the Tresemme Micro Mist Hairspray in texture. So I still have a lot of grit in the hair. So we wanna keep a few face framing pieces out. So I'm just gonna mess around and see what looks best and then I'll go ahead and style my hair like that. It's always good to get a gauge first so that there are no surprises when you're done styling. So this is the look that I've settled on. I really like this. I'm gonna just go in with the Way Matte Pomade on my fingertips, and then I'm just gonna kind of work it through the hair so there's a little bit of hold, but I still want that messy texture through here, so I'm not gonna use a brush. So with half-up styles and almost any style that's up, I like to make sure this hair is really tight right above my ears, because that kind of pulls the eyes back. So even if the rest of it is loose, I wanna make sure those few pieces right above the ears are really tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and secure this with a snag-free elastic from Kish. Okay, once it's secure, I'm just gonna pull to tighten. And then I'm gonna wrap a piece of hair around this elastic to cover it. And then I'll just secure this with a bobby pin. Okay, now that I've got that in there, I just wanna massage this and kind of break it up, give it a messier texture. And then I'm gonna lift up this hair and just back brush it with my brush so I get a lot of volume. And then I'll work through the ends, just back brush the rest of the hair. So I just put the brush in at the ends and do gentle kind of pushes upward. If I have any little exposed partings or parts of my hairline, I'm just gonna go in with Rita Hazan Root Concealer and I'll just spray it right over there. Everyone's scalp is a little bit whiter than their skin tone, so this is just a great way to kind of soften the look. And if you have any gray hairs, this will cover up the grays. So then just to finish the look, I'm gonna go in with a pomade mousse and just kind of scrunch it in for a little bit of added hold. 
And this is the final look. Lots of bouncy texture, kind of messy. Super fun for summer. Bye, Birdie.